Hey guys, this is Vegas Romania. For those who follow my videos, uh, you know that actually I'm building a new trailer. This is the new trailer that I'm building and it's actually shaping up uh, to be pretty good so far. But um, even though this doesn't look much, it's a, a big progress uh, to from where I'm coming from because this is my trailer 2.0. I actually built one about four years ago with le a lot less tools and a lot less uh, uh, knowledge. Um, so I've learned a lot of, out of that one and I'm going to put a video together for you so you will see how I failed and what I failed on the, the first trailer. It worked, but at the end of the video I'm going to tell you what was the problem with it and what did not work. So this is where all it started at the uh, picture that I saw online with a teardrop. And because I had a limited budget as I always do, I've started with a wood frame covered with cheapest metal I could find. This project was about $400 by the time I was done, so it actually turned out to be fairly expensive compared to what I'm actually building today. But I had more disposable income at that point and very, very little knowledge. Just that window you see in these uh, pictures was uh, $90 at Home Depot. I should have never put it in, but that was something that I made a mistake and I learned out of it. So the things that worked and things that didn't work were, were very, very obvious. First, I built it very, very not aerodynamic, and that was its Achilles heel. It was very, very heavy. That was its second problem. It was very, very small. That was its third problem. The door was on the right, therefore, if there are two people inside, one has to jump over the other. Uh, the kitchen in the back was not very, very useful, and uh, it was just overall just four foot tall so you couldn't even dress inside and that was a big problem I never really did my research I looked at those teardrop trailers and I thought that they were great but the truth is that they were just very very basic no I took it a couple of times out but never really had a lot of fun it was better than a tent but really that's about it a little bit better than a tent and that's why I've started to build a new one It was so long ago that even the cameras were not as good as we have today. This was 2012 and I had a very limited camera that I could take videos out of. But yeah, the trailer made it up and the kitchen was open and uh, the dog fitted in and everything looked okay for a little bit. But the problem is that the trailer was only 4 foot wide and the trailer was only uh, 8 foot long and uh, it was... Um, it was not even fitting a queen size mattress in it, so it was really, really not worth it if you ask me. One of the worst flaws is that it was not tall enough and you couldn't do much because it was not tall enough. You couldn't dress, it was hard to fit in, and uh, you had to put your feet towards the inside, so it was hard to get in. And when the second person was getting in, the first person was. It was kind of like a sardine kind of a thing, so absolutely a bad design. Four feet wide for two people is just not enough. And I never really understood that before I actually built it. And once I built it, I took it out a couple of times and actually realized how limited it was as far as the width. That's why the new trailer that I built, it's uh, 60 inches wide, so that's five feet wide. That means that that trailer is uh, capable of fitting a queen size bed in it. And because it has the doors in the back, one person would not bother the other one when they actually go out at night, you know, for a restroom break or something like that. As you can see, my dog enjoyed it for a little bit. Yes, we had the dog with us and that was the extra part that created more problems because it was barely room for two and now it was three. But let's go to the good parts. Uh, a couple of things that I liked about it is the fact that it was a lot warmer than a tent. It was a lot more comfortable than a tent. You were off the ground, there were no bugs, there was a door, you felt more secure. So those things really, really made a huge difference. And uh, that's why I always had it uh, left uh, in my head to actually build another one that's going to be a little bit better, a little bit more reliable, a little bit more useful. That's why I built one that is uh, almost 12 feet long, it's actually 10 foot long, and then uh, I built one that is 5 feet wide. It makes a huge difference. The fact that I had the kitchen in the back helped because you could put all your things that you wanted in the back, so we had all the things that we needed when we actually went camping. So that was the good part as far as the trailer goes. 
but there are a lot of things missing and the two doors in the back was a big big problem which I have fixed in the new one and hopefully is gonna last for a while look on the side that we had and it was not really really bad yes I know the sharp angles doesn't make it look really really pretty but it worked the kitchen in the back it was fairly okay I had a little stove you could stop on the side of the road and cook something if you really wanted to but the fact that it was heavy and so small it didn't really work very well for us here's a quick look to the back I have very very little footage on this trailer because I haven't used it very very much but this was the back we had basically more everything that we needed and this is the car that hauled it all the way up there uh, only took two trips but I learned a lot from it